Hey guys, Code with Jay here, and today I'm back with another video on the Alpaca API. Today, in this video, we're going to be learning how to create an order, whether it's a market order, a limit order, a stop order, or so on. Now, the first thing we're going to do with the Alpaca, like the last video, is start with our config file. And in our config file, you'll have your Alpaca secret key and your key. Another thing I recommend that we didn't have in our last video is these headers and make sure in the headers that your key is set to alpaca but not spelled with the l and not spelled with the second a just apca api key id and apca api secret key make sure you put the values correctly next to those keys and this is so we can properly use requests and to get started, we're going to go ahead and start off with importing the Alpaca trade API. And we can call this trade API so we don't have to type that every single time. We're also going to need from Alpaca trade API a module called REST. And that should be actually, we don't need REST. REST is from the last video. In this video, instead, we're actually going to need requests. So go ahead and import requests and we can go ahead and get started. We're going to create a function here and let's call it create market order. Now inside our market order, we're going to need the data we're going to send in a JSON type format. And the data that we're going to be sending to Alpaca is the following. We're going to need a symbol and the symbol is going to be our stock ticker. So in this case, we're going to just put a colon and leave this empty for now. And the next thing we're going to need is the quantity of, of the stock that we're purchasing, how many stocks worth. Leave all of these empty for now. Decide whether we're going to be on the buying side or selling side. We're also going to need the type. This will let us know whether it's limit, market, and we need the time in force. So let's go ahead and say time in oh, force. There we go. And that should be everything for the market order. In the time in force, we're going to go ahead and hard code day. And for now, we're going to hard code our variables. So we're going to go ahead and, and up here say we have a ticker. And let's say we're doing this for Apple. We're going to have the quantity. We're going to set this equal to two. And we're going to have a side here and we're going to be buying. And we're going to go ahead and have a type here. And that type is a natural function. So we're going to say order type. And here we're going to say market now with these variables hard-coded we can go ahead and put ticker in here that's for pi game not our object our quantity our side and our order type another thing we're going to now need to do is from our config file or for you guys i just put in this for the config example but we're going to need to import our config and we're also going to in a couple lines down here say orders URL and we have our base URL here and our base URL is the start of each one so for the accounts you have slash get slash v2 or slash v2 slash account and slash v2 slash orders so we're going to go ahead and just format that. And what we can do is say, put our curly braces here, say slash v2 slash orders. We're going to say dot format. And we're going to format this from config dot our alpaca base URL. Now that we have the orders URL and everything from config, we can now come in here and say, r equals we're going to say requests dot post 
and we're going to go ahead here and say orders url so this is going to pass we're going to the paper api market and we're trying to go to orders we want to pass the json which was our data and we want to also tell we're posting information to alpaca market but it doesn't know who we are uh what account we were trying to use so it's just gonna reject us and so it knows who we are we're gonna say headers here is equal to our config dot headers all right i now have added the headers into my config file there and there we go we have now sent a post request to alpaca giving it our information and giving it the order we want to create now we can go ahead and return here and we can return our dot content for example and we can go ahead and print create market order here another thing i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to go ahead and open up the alpaca dashboard i'm going to go ahead and slide that on screen here so we can see here's just a bunch of orders I've created and canceled. Just to see if this go ahead and went ahead and worked, we're gonna go ahead and run this. We're gonna go ahead and tab over to our dashboard and you'll see we have a market by quantity two and it's been accepted. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this here. And real quick, we're gonna go ahead and see what if we wanted to make a limit order. Well, we can just take our function here and let's just copy this. Let's paste it. And instead of create market order, let's go ahead and create a limit order. Now, inside of our data, all we have to do that's different is we're going to comma here and say limit. And we're going to say limit price. So on the alpaca data, uh, alpaca documentation, you'll see all the names that you'll need, all the key values that you'll need in order to send these post requests. So here we'll say limit price. Let's go ahead and have a default hard coded value of 140. Let's go ahead and set that to limit price. And if I go ahead and run create limit order, and we run this. Requires no stop or limit. Oh. Limit. Order type was limit. There we go. If we go ahead and open up our alpaca dashboard now. There's our Apple limit buy. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And now you guys just have a quick way to see how you can create different types of orders. If you were to do stop, you would just change limit price to stop price, so on and so forth. I hope this guy's helped with your alpaca based application and make sure to leave a like, comment or dislike.